One day near Christmas, when I was just a child, Mama called us all together. Mama tried to smile. She said, you know, the cotton crop hasn't been too good this year. There's not a lot of spending money, and well, at least we're all here. I hope you won't expect a lot of Christmas presents. Just be thankful that there's plenty to eat. That'll make things a little more pleasant. And us kids got to thinking how really blessed we were. At least we were all healthy, and most of all, we had her. Roy cut down a pick apple tree, and we drug it home, Jack and me. Daddy killed a squirrel, and Louise made the bread. Reba decorated the tree with popcorn strings before we went to bed. Mom and Daddy sacrificed because this Christmas was kind of lean. After all, they were the babies, Tom and Joanne, and babies need a few things. I whittled a whistle for my brother Jack, and though we fought now and then, when I gave Jack that whistle, he knew I thought the world of him. Mama made the girls' dresses out of flower sacks, and when she ironed them down, you couldn't tell that they hadn't come from town. A sharecropper family across the road didn't have it as good as us. They didn't even have a light, and it was way past dusk. And Mama said, well, I bet they don't even have coal oil, let alone apples and oranges and such. Me and Jack took a jar of coal oil and some hickory nuts we'd found. We walked to the sharecropper's porch and set them down. A poor old ragged lady eased open the door. She picked up the coal oil and hickory nuts and said, I sure do thank you, and quickly closed the door. We started back home, me and Jack, and about halfway we stopped and looked back, and in the sharecropper's window at last was a light. So for one of the neighbors, and for us, it was a good Christmas night. Christmas came and Christmas went. Christmas that year was heaven sent. Then Daddy put on his gum boots and waited for the thaw. Back home in Dias, Arkansas.